So you might be trying to figure out how to use the new Freeform application on your iPhone. Now this is going to be a very quick tutorial on basically how to use it, but you will have to be on the latest version of iOS to actually run this. So make sure you're on, I think, iOS 16.2 or newer. If you are not, then that's probably going to be the issue. So install, you know, 16.2 and you should automatically get this new Freeform application. Now let's go and break down the basics of how to use this app. It's basically like a collaboration app, which is honestly very cool and consider it almost like a whiteboarding type of application. So what you can do here is you, as soon as you boot it up, you'll usually come into this type of panel. You may come into something that looks like this as well, but you can just go and click on all boards and come into this panel. Now what you can do here is you can create a new board by basically going through and clicking that little new editing button at the top. Now when you do that, you will come into this panel. Now immediately what you can do is you can start writing things down. So if you want to, you can click that little pen icon down here you can start drawing, you can start, you know, making smiley faces or taking notes. If you have an iPad and an Apple Pencil, you can do that as well. But you may be wanting to more so figure out the actual things that you can do within a specific application. So at the very top, you have the ability of immediately sharing your specific application. So you can go ahead and sh click share, and you will have to turn on iCloud, so if you don't have iCloud, it's not going to work. And you will basically be able to collaborate with others. So click on the little share button, make sure, you know, iCloud settings are enabled. And then you'll basically be able to share the specific, you know, board with other people. And they can also collaborate at the same time. Now, these three dots here give you a little bit of a breakdown as well. So you can rename this board. You can duplicate this board. You can favorite it. You can find things within this board. You can hide the grid in the background. You can also export it as a PDF and print it. So those are some other cool things. Like this is actually generally a pretty decent freeform note collaborating application. Now this specific app will just open up a new board that you can use, but you can also go back and find all the other boards that you've used. So we'll just go back to this one. Now at the very bottom here, this is our little, you know, basically our little double tap to, it's kind of like a sticky note thing too. So what you can do here is you can go ahead and have sticky notes right onto your little board. And if you want to, you can zoom in and zoom out of your board as well. So if you want it bigger, you can go in like this. If you want it smaller, we can go like this. And that's actually a really cool thing. So if in the corner you want to go and have like a little memory board or whatever you want to do, what you can do is you can have your little information here. You can double tap to start adding text. So what you can do is if you want, you know, remember to do, what do I remember? Well, let's keep it that like that. Well, hopefully you'll remember it. And that's all you're going to have to do there. And you can keep adding more notes if you want. Let's say I want another note. I can drag it here and I can add something else. And it's a pretty cool thing. Now, this little button here will basically allow you to bring in shapes to your specific application. So again, this is pretty basic. You can add a new shape if you want. It's another really cool thing. So if I want to add this, I can click here and now this shape has been added. You can also click on this little icon here, which will basically just allow you to add in text. So if you want to add text, you can also add in text right there as well. This is the little marker application, little portion. So like I mentioned, if you want to draw things, you can draw whatever you want to do. You can you know, erase things. So if you don't want this, you can also erase it, which is really nice. Unfortunately, you can't erase these things, but you still have that type of capability. You can always click on things. You can always drag them bigger and whatnot. Now, this little icon down here will allow you to go ahead and, you know, trash it if you want to. So you can click trash and you can remove things. And finally, you can add a photo. So if you want to insert a link or you want to scan something on here or a camera or photos or video or insert from, well, you have that type of capability as well to kind of paste whatever you want inside of this application. So this definitely has a lot of capability. I'm a big fan of this app. And uh, hopefully that kind of shows you exactly how to use it in a pretty quick way. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.